let's go on it says for he raised us from the dead along with christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we are united with christ jesus why verse 7 so god can point to us in all future ages as examples of the incredible wealth of his grace and kindness toward us as shown in all he has done for us who are united with jesus christ verse 8 now here we go god saved you by his grace when you believed you know what people do they start debating is believing in jesus a work that is absolutely absurd because people go so far down the route of saying i don't have to do anything it's all by god's grace it's all by god's grace brother and it's like okay but the scripture says you're saved by grace through faith whose faith yours your faith has to access the grace of god and sometimes people will people can be in church many years but they never have faith that accesses grace of god and they never receive salvation they'll struggle with the same sins forever till they die and i i hope certain people get into heaven but the scripture says if you don't by faith receive grace to triumph over sin that you'll go to hell because the wages of sin is death the the scripture literally puts lists of sins that will send you to hell and people let people deceive them into thinking that they won't but if you're gonna believe part of these scriptures you might as well believe all of them right the book of ephesians is six books not two verses six six chapters i should say six whole chapters and we boil it down to the things that make our flesh feel good the scripture says in the last days people won't endure sound doctrine but they'll heap up teachers that will tell them whatever their itching ears want to hear let me tell you something i endured through many painful times in the scriptures realizing that what they said was super weighty i mourned over people that i thought went to heaven but judging by the way they live their life as we're supposed to do and by the way if we're not supposed to judge people why are people judging people all the time no you don't like it when a christian tells you you need to change your ways right yet they're doing it for your well-being right many people <laughs> but then people are talking bad about people all the time and gossiping and slandering behind closed doors it's ridiculous okay i'm not gonna judge the world god's gonna judge the world corinthians says we're supposed to judge the church but if you're gonna do that you have to make sure that you take the log out of your own eye to see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye so when i judge it's to bring help not to bring condemnation not to judge them and beat them down but to make a judgment and say hey bro hey sister you're not living according to the scriptures and i'm fearful for your soul right because by faith we receive grace to live a new life in christ so let's go on <clears throat> 